Okay, so we're looking at a specific LPS work order here and trying to determine what's going on here. So this particular work order tells me to cut the grass regardless of the season. If I'm unable to complete for the allowable, or to perform the work and bid after the fact. Now we need to know that LPS's allowables are under 12 inches and under 15,000 square feet. So that's the allowable. Now, this particular work order tells me to bid after the fact if it's over 12 inches or over 15,000 square feet because that's what the allowable is. It's got to be supported by a cost estimation report. Now the price matrix that GCP sent to you was calculated off a cost estimation report. So those prices are built from the HUD calculated pricing. If debris is in the way of the grass cut, we're to cut around the debris. If we're unable to cut around the debris, then we're to bid to move it and bid to cut it. So if there's just a little bit of debris out there, maybe three or four yards, you're supposed to cut around it. Uh, if you're talking like 10, 15 yards, you probably should not cut around it and you need to bid to move it and bid to cut it. So you wouldn't complete any more work there. This is an MCS order. This gets a little bit more in depth. We are to complete the initial grass cut per the MCS allowable. And again, their MCS allowable is 15,000 square feet and 12 inches. Now this work order gets goes into a little bit more detail here than the LPS order. If the lawn size is less than an acre, we're to complete it and bid after the effect. If the lawn size is larger than an acre, we're to cut one acre perimeter. So this is different than the 100 by 150 perimeter. Um, so if, the, if it's a one acre, if it's a two acre lot, we should cut an acre perimeter and make sure that that one acre that we cut is around the house going to the curb and we should bid after the fact. Then we're going to provide a bid to cut the remainder of the property. If the grass is between 12 and 36 inches, we're going to cut and bid after the fact. If the grass exceeds 36 inches, we're going to cut and bid after the fact. If there's any debris or personal property, we're going to cut around it. And then we're also going to submit, submit bids to move it. If a grass cut violation is posted at the property, we are going to do whatever it takes to submit a uh, work order that cures that violation. So basically with this particular type of work order, um, MCS wants this to really get out there and get this work completed, to get this grass cut completed. So. We just need to know what the allowables are, and then we need to know what the bid after the facts are, and we need to know that all pricing for bid after the facts, we need to refer to our GCP price matrix for our grass cut schedule. Thank you.